Let's summarize Samsung for 2010. What do you want our readers to get a, uh, to, to be left with? Yeah, certainly for Samsung this year, it's all about uh, certainly LED technology, expanding our LED lineup, a uh, wide range of uh, models. 50% uh, of our business is going to be, uh, you know, we're hoping to be LED technology. So we're doing ultra slim. 3D is going to be absolutely huge for 2010. Uh, Blu-ray players, 3D panels, not only in LCD, but plasma and LED as well. So I've got the 3D glasses on. Yep. So active passive, what am, I, what am I wearing? What is it? Uh, it's uh, active glasses, so yeah. you need obviously our 3D panels, yeah. 3D Blu-ray player, and the 3D glasses. So now that you're watching it, you can see that there's going to be a lot more content coming available in 3D. Movies like Avatar, which yeah. are, are out now, Christmas Carol, uh, the new Shrek movie is going to be in 3D. There's, well, they, even, they, there's even going to be broadcasting in 3D. Now, I just I just watched a, a bit of a, a World Cup match, yeah. and the, the ball coming straight at, at me through the net, and it just looks absolutely spectacular. Yeah. It's like you're watching soccer for the football for the first time. Now, is this going to become common in 2010, or are we seeing something at CES that in 2012 it's no. going to become it's, it's part going of to be, It's going to be this year. There's going to be a lot of content this year, and video games as well, too. The video gamer is a big industry, and yeah. you're going to get a lot of 3D content with video games as well. Yeah. So here we are with the more of our LED lineup. Uh, one of the strengths of Samsung this year is the amount of LEDs that we're going to have. 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, and 9,000 series. Uh, one of the changes, of course, is even in the touch of color design, we actually have a textured look to it. Very, very hard to notice, so it's not overpowering. Very subtle, which is great for a lot of people. One of the new things that Samsung has in a couple of our models this year is what we call seamless uh, dimming. This is uh, based on our edge lit system. But now we can actually control areas of the edge light where we can adjust the dimming uh, in certain areas. So that's a key on two of the new models this year. Hey Jeff, let's go take a look at that remote. I've been hearing a lot about that funky remote. That yeah. That. yeah, let's go take a look at that right now. This is the, just a remote control for the C9000, a product that's an LED model TV. This is currently our 55 inch TV here. The remote control, let me get back to the main menu. I would hit the twin button and now I can get the same view as I'm getting from the TV. Take this to another room, you know, so you can continue watching your view if you don't have TiVo or you're not doing your TiVo or anything like that. You can just take this to the next room. One of the other nice functions that's getting a lot of feedback here is the preview option. So right now I'm, I'm watching a Blu-ray feed on this screen. And what I've done here is I'm now watching the TV feed, live broadcast. And I can even channel surf. And if I if I want if I chose to put that on the TV, just hit watch on, brings it back automatically to the TV. A third a third feature that we have here is it's also because it's part of the same network, it's connected to this uh, laptop right here, and it can easily pull up all the videos. Um, he's currently working on it right now, but it would pull up all the videos and music files and photos that you have on your computer, share them directly onto the TV, a really seamless design. Right. Now, is this an option or does it come with a TV? This comes with a TV, with a C9000, and it comes included in the box. And it's Wi-Fi enabled? It is Wi-Fi enabled. And it also has an IR remote for, for regular IR functions. We're going to expand on our cameras in terms of design, even little things like having a seven degree angle base so that uh, when you're taking a self-portrait, it sits on the table and you get people's faces, not just their midsection. The details. Yeah. And of course, connectivity. You've yeah. shown us some interesting things with connectivity. Certainly connectivity is going to be absolutely huge for 2010 with DLNA, uh, having our mobile phones, computers working together with the television. Same with printers, being able to look at something on the TV and printing it off on a DLNA certified printer this year. And most of the things that you've shown us today, that's not pie in the sky future stuff. We're going to have that this year. Yeah, it's, we started in 2009 and 2010 is going to be big for us this year uh, with a lot of those features and uh, a lot of interesting things to come in 2010. Thanks Jeff, have a great CES. Thank you very much.